Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Lake Charles, Louisiana with S. Elmo from Auditing America. You know, that lovable moron who's wrong about everything. And this case is no different because he gets booted out of the local city hall. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy S. Elmo uh, acting like a whiny little toddler. I'll stay with Elmo. Where's the restroom, Mama? The the bathroom. Restroom right there. Right. Could you tell me what's your position here? No. Okay. Yeah. See, that's why I say we don't know what you're doing. What, what are you here for? That was really rude of you. Ass Elmo, you're one to talk considering your mother didn't bother to teach you any manners while growing up. I mean, you walk into uh, buildings as if you think you own them, which you don't, and you shove your equipment in everybody's faces and pretty much telling them there's nothing they can do about it because you know everything. So who's the rude one around here? What are you here for? That's what she was asking. Exactly. Well, we were on our way. But you, but you, you, you straight shut me down. You said he's doing video and he got I don't know if he can do that here. What, what's, your, what's your position here, though? Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't what? know that. Yeah, we, have the, we have the right to be here in video recording. You, you don't have the right to video people if they don't want to be video. That's right. So yes, I'm yes. asking you to turn the camera off on me. I, I understand you may not feel comfortable with the video, sir, right. but... I well, Asomo, I thought you realized by now that these people have the right to uh, boot your sorry ass out the uh, door if they determine that, well, you have no legitimate business there other than to harass anybody and everybody that comes in, which is all you ever do. You're no journalist either, so stop pretending that you are, okay? Nobody goes there without an appointment, so you can't go up there anyways. So how can I make an appointment there? You have to call and tell them. Uh, 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 we're already here. Oh, you're already there. Uh, yeah, you're still going to have to make an appointment like they said by making that phone call. It doesn't matter who you think you are, dude, because you're just one of the guys and one of the guys who has to make that appointment in order, in order to be here. So, you know what? Why don't you make like a tree and leave? Yeah, I'm like, you have to call. <laughs> yeah, whether you're already here or not, you have to call. Did they sign in? Well, nope. They haven't signed in. And, 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 and you said, eh, 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 foot. You here already. If you got you to call in like everybody else called that comes here. Why? Do you have to call the city hey, hall? Or is there a specific number? You have number? to call a specific number. Is that okay, like okay. is is that like a new thing? Because no, it's not new. It's been it, we've been this actually. Can you turn the camera on? I'm here to do a video. That's my whole point. Did you make an appointment? I don't. Where's the video? I don't. I, you need to know. I told you, you about. You can't just pop people on videos like right, that. Well, I'm, it's, I'm gonna it, have to actually leave. Uh -huh. Sir, I'm, I'm gonna have to nicely yeah, refuse. You, 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 oh, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to like start trouble or anything. Yeah, but we have the right to be here. You want me to call? I didn't tell security to ask you to leave the building. Sir, I'm, I'm trying to explain to you. We have legitimate. All you gotta do is leave. That's all. But we have legitimate but business you can leave, here. Though. Why are you guys? Why are you guys being rude to us? Kicking us out for no reason. Well, Asselmo, I thought you would have learned that by now with the thousands of times that you've been booted out of government buildings, that if you have no legitimate business there, then, well, they can definitely kick you out. So why do you always go around complaining about this when you already know what the consequences of your actions are going to be? One of these days, you're going to do this to the wrong person, and, well, the consequences will be dire. Now, let's go ahead and skip ahead to when the uh, cops show up and really boot his ass out of the area. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Many, many minutes later. Hi. 
Step Hi, can I speak with you for a second? Yeah. As soon as I'm done talking to you? Yeah. Nope. Step step over there. Over there. I'm in a public place. Turn, 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 I'm in a public turn, 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 sidewalk. I'm and asking you to, to go across the road do what so I, I can get each side do. of the story separately. Do you understand me? Isn't that jaywalking? So go across the road. I'm ordering you to. Why are you being mean? I'm not doing, I haven't done mean? any, I haven't done anything. How am I being mean? You are. How am I being mean? You're, you're in trying to, that. you're trying to intimidate me. Explain that. You're you. trying to intimidate me. No, ass Elmo. Uh, don't you know anything about interviewing suspects and witnesses and everything like that? This is an investigation. They want to keep you separate from the witnesses. That way they don't feel intimidated by your presence and they can speak the truth uh, as much as they can to these officers. That way they can uh, t take it from there and deal with you. So, dude, they're not trying to intimidate you. They're just following procedures, you bloody moron. Stay right here. I've done nothing wrong. Do you understand me? Yes. You don't tell us what do to do, brother. Me? I've done nothing wrong. You will find yourself in handcuffs if you don't listen. For to what me. crime? I will show you. Exactly. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> what the heck? Keep your eyes on that one right there. We've done nothing wrong. Keep your eyes on. Oh. Damn, bro. Hurry up. What? How you doing, sir? Good. Good. We've done absolutely nothing <laughs> wrong. We're just working on a video, and he just came here like. First Amendment is what, what is what, what does that mean? It doesn't that apply to all of us? Well, we love good, courteous police officers. I don't know what's the problem. We, we have no issues with nobody here. We just want to film. All y'all want out here, but if they do ask you to leave, technically, trespassing. For what? For what crime? For what crime? But you, you need a you need a no. This is a city hall, dog. City, Yes. It's publicly. It's a public place. Officer, it's a public place. I understand that, but if they ask you to leave, which they are they, part of the city, the, if the city asks you to leave their building, you have to. Sir, yeah. that's not how it works. We work, we, we do this nationwide. We go to public buildings. We never interfere. Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? Oh, ass Elmo, you beautiful little lying scumbag. You do go out there and cause problems. You do end up getting places shut down. So you do interfere with the uh, daily operations of any business that you come across just for the shits and giggles of it. And the clicks and views, of course, but mostly for your own jollies, I suppose. As long as I don't interfere with the service. I don't know what happened inside. Absolutely yeah, no, nothing. nothing. All I'm going off. Right. Well, that's we've that's we've been we we've we haven't been rude. We haven't been rude to anybody. Well, you're here to pay your water bill or whatever you can do on the ground floor. You you may do so. You're not going upstairs and you're not speaking to any city officials. How can I government. how can I do my legitimate business here? What's then? your legitimate business that? here? I want to make an appointment with the mayor. Well, then you need to call and make an appointment. But with I'm the mayor. but I'm already here right now. But you got to call. There is a why don't even get to why were you why were you so rude and made me? Why was I rude? So hang on. You, made me, stop you made me jaywalk. You made me jaywalk. You're changing the subject. What appointment what have you made with the mayor? They didn't even give me a chance. You didn't answer the question. What appointment did you make with the mayor? I'm trying. Did you phone the mayor's office and make an appointment? Why would I call? Why would I call him right here? I came in person. Yes no. I came in person. Yes or no? Did you phone their any Why are you guys being tyrants? We've You're done right. nothing wrong. You're supposed to be nice to the public. Did you see what you? I'm not supposed. Did you see what you? Yes, you are. It's courtesy. I'm supposed to do my job. It's out of courtesy, bro. Ass Elmo. They are most certainly not there to kiss your ass and be nice to you if you haven't earned it. Because you know what? Niceties are earned in this case, and you certainly didn't earn any of their niceties or respect. And one good reason why is you are an insanely rude little jackass. If you want respect, you gotta give it. I mean, if you walk up to me with that attitude, ass Elmo, I certainly wouldn't give you any respect at all. You are doing it. You're doing a job. You have to be nice to us. We have the right to. We have no. You guys are creating a disturbance because I've done nothing wrong. I haven't. I haven't been rude to anybody. I haven't been rude. Listen, I haven't been rude to anybody. Don't go back in there. I'm advising you not to come back to this. Well, obviously, you're 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 definitely dangerous. Me? Yes. How am I dangerous? You are. You you just walked up walked up to us intimidation and in, in intimidate. Yes. You have a gun. You have all this stuff. My job, dude. No, it's not. It's your job to be to protect our rights, not to trample on them. That's a public building. We have the right to be there. Yes, we do. It's a public building. We have the right to be there. This is tax. This is tax funded. We have. How do we make an appointment then? 
I sure will. What's your name and batch number? Bro, give me, give me a second. This guy, this guy, hold on, hold on. No, right now, my, my, right now, I don't even care about this building right now. I care about your attitude. No, I, I, I'm going to document your attitude. This is bad. This is extremely tyrannical behavior. You don't do that to the citizen. Oh, I don't. You don't. How do you know? You just did to me. Where are you from? That doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. I'm from American. Okay. I'm from American. Okay. I'm from American. Okay. From American, huh? Dude, American is the individual person who resides in America or the United States of America. So, dude, try to work on your grammar because we all know you're a moron, but you don't have to be a poorly worded moron. Go away. I have the right to be. Else. I have the right to be here. Uh, you already okay. kicked you me can out, stand right? Stand here. I can. Yeah, can. I can. Don't go back in city hall. Well, apparently I can. You're a tyrant. You're gonna, you you're gonna, you're gonna kidnap me, right? You can make an appointment unless you have official business with whatever offices are on the bottom floor. Okay. Can I have your business card? No, you cannot. Can I have your business card? What's your name and batch number? Right here, look. You're not telling us. Okay, violate your own policy. Go ahead. Your name and batch number? Do you know our policy? Of course. You have to identify yourself. Oh, could you please provide a citation on where they have to identify? Because according to the Badge Act of 1993, they don't need to verbally identify themselves to you. They just need to wear their badge and uh, the other identifying patches of their police department, dude. So give it up. Try again. Go somewhere else. That's why I have a badge and my name, my right, name here. right here. Right here, yeah. That's yeah, the way you treat you the public. Go home and study up on no, you should security probably go. Home. You should probably quit your job and work somewhere else. Private security, you do a better job. Private, private security, you do a better job. You think you're no. the first person to ever bait me, bro? Bait you? Have I disrespected you in any way? You said you said we're doing a First Amendment audit. Yes, we are. But but although the first, uh, well, well, I tell you something. But you can't go on the second That's the thing. That's the thing. That, listen, listen. You have to be nice to me. No, yes, you do. No, I do not. Yes, you do. What, what job? And what job do you? Your policy. Where does it your say your that policy. In my policy. It does say it. How do you know? Because I've already read, read it. Police officers are supposed to be the good people. Police officers are supposed to be nice people, bro. Police officers are supposed to be nice. Period. No, that, no, no, you're not. No, I don't know. I hope you are. But this guy is extremely let's, rude. Let's get out of here. Look at this. You we leave. Look at this. Go back in city hall. You, you need to get. You need to leave this city. You understand me? You need to leave this city. Do you understand? You're a tyrant. You're a tyrant. I'm my own person. Enjoy the enjoy that walk of shame. That's terrible. That's the walk of shame. No, that's the walk of shame. Go ahead. You guys are tyrants. I'll make sure. I'll make sure I'll publish this. By the way, we have 100 million views on the internet. There you go. Oh my God, who the hell cares? I wonder how many of those 100 million views are of your detractors downloading your videos so they could post commentary on how stupid you truly are, dude. And besides, 100 million views... Quit using the ad populum fallacy on your channel anyway, because, well, it's not very effective, you know. I've never seen it actually work on anybody. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Wow, tyrants in Louisiana. I can already tell the love you guys have for the Constitution. You guys are the worst of the worst. I get paid more than you. I get paid more than you. Tyrants, you're a tyrant. You're a tyrant. I hope you fall. I hope you fall. Oh, poor little ass Elmo. Looks like you're going to go to your hotel room tonight and uh, cry into your pillow about being uh, removed from City Hall. Or, or maybe you should call your mother and... Uh, Get some comfort from her because I'm sure she would uh, love to hear from her bouncing baby criminal. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.